What is up, my friends? How y'all doing? This is your boy, Sosa Points, coming at you with the Greenland Move Review. There will be spoilers in this one, as you already should know, because you clicked on the title, but maybe you accidentally did. Now, I promise you that the spoilers that I'm going to reveal, even though they will be in full, I'm not going to hold back in any way, are not going to ruin the movie for you, because the movie, as I will explain in a little bit, is not really as much about the plot and the events as it is about the heartfelt scenes and just the way that the it puts together a great message. So... Stick around for it, but if you don't want to be spoiled, here's your opportunity to turn away now, but I promise you, you should still stick around, but I just got to give that forewarning to everybody, all right? Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Please smash that thumbs up like button, because it really helps out the YouTube algorithm. I also just did a Wonder Woman review, like that will have been uploaded an hour before, so after you watch this, make sure you go and check out that one as well, because that has full spoilers on that one. And subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, like the all features, so you can all see all my future content. I got lots of good stuff, like movie reviews and other great, interesting content, like DBZ content content anime content funny humor political content all that good stuff on there so it's definitely worth your time get on with it yes get on with it yes! also please leave a comment in support of this as well if you have any questions i'd be more than happy to answer them also helps out the youtube algorithm along with sharing this around share this around with everybody that you know as well please thank you get on with it <laughs> All right, let's get started. Marina Bakari. Oh my God, she is so lovely. Or more, I think that's how you say her name. It's a weird, confusing name. But as I like to affectionately call her, Deadpool's girlfriend. You know, uh, but also Gerard Butler. I don't know why, but Gerard Butler has not been getting good reception in his movies. I like him as an actor, and he's uh, every woman's dream man in, in a sense. And he just can't seem to land a good movie role. Apparently, it never gets good feedback. But I apparently all the movies that I've seen him in before I like most of them and I don't see why people didn't like them or didn't receive them as well and this might end up being one of these movies because I tell you what guys I genuinely love this movie like it was it was it wasn't you know the greatest thing I've ever seen it definitely was a very cliche movie but man it's very well done and Gerard Butler everybody gets props whenever it comes to the acting in this movie I really really liked it now, what the, as you already know from the commercials, the movie is based on is that a giant comment of an extinction level event is about to come and hit the earth, and they have to be able to be able to find a way to make uh, their way to a government safe house or be able to salvage the situation and all the you know troubles and hard times that they go through in the meantime in order to be able to protect their own family, and. Gerard Butler does a really good job in this one, and you know what, the mom, Ma Marina, she does a great job being, she's a smart woman in this one, I love, I love it when they make genuinely smart women instead of just trying to do all this female empowerment, just because they're women, they're automatically great, no, she definitely earns that, she it, it does her best to protect her son, figures out how to communicate with her husband, because they get abandoned in the middle, uh, in throughout the movie, and they, she figures out a way to communicate with him, when their cell phones go down, and they end up meeting at the same place and she does awesome regard to here too gerard butler it, it introduces them as you know a family who is trying to make the best uh, life that they can but he had an affair and because they were going through a really hard time and there's no excuse for that but that that's just what they were going through and they're trying to salvage their relationship mainly for the sake of their son who is a diabetic and that comes into big play later on because he is also a structural engineer Whenever he builds very tall buildings, like he works in like Vegas and stuff like that, he's very good at what he does. Very well renowned for all this stuff. So that comes into play later. So whenever there's news of this comet that's coming to basically, it, basically, it, it does a very good job of letting us know that we should never trust the mainstream media, and we shouldn't because they're always lying to you and they're always full of crap. So no matter even if they tell you that they're not no they're they're actually lying to you pretty much about anything especially whenever it comes to anything political and definitely when it comes to stuff about this. So basically they say it's a you know misunderstanding. They say that they underestimated how quickly the comments would be here and it ends up being like a whole day early and it and the first one they project to land in like in the middle of the ocean and they have like all these cameras on this uh, point that they think where it's going to land and they have all <laughs> the they want to see a whole bunch of waves and everything like that and they don't think it's really going to be that impactful or that damaging on anyone around but it actually is it actually lands like right in the middle of like tampa florida and just wipes out the entire city and that's only one of the small comments and everyone is panicking and whenever that happens uh uh gerard butler gets a text 
uh, saying it's from the government, saying that he is one of the few people who is allowed to come and get uh, salvation at one of the government bases. He's basically going to get sanctuary, get protected, him and his family. He can't bring anyone else. It makes it explicitly clear. He has a code for it and everything, and he's supposed to get this banned so that people will know that you know he's allowed in in order to be able to get in and out. And like, so he has to make his way there, and it's so sad because there's other people begging him to take them along and he can't because then his family will get left behind they're like just take my daughter just take my daughter and but he can't do that because then he they won't be able to get in because it's a very serious government situation and they're not going to be allowed in then what the kid's just going to be left stranded there no it's better off sticking with their parents but it's just very heartfelt because what would you do if it was your kid you would beg and ask for the same thing and yeah, so they're working their way to this uh, government base, and I gotta say, guys, just like the acting is really good. One, the great thing about this movie is the emotional impact on this movie. It really is great. the The acting, the scenes in the air with the low key music in the background, is just all very impactful. I love it. Like you can feel the genuine emotion being displayed on set. the The way their the parents care for their kids. And how mates care for each other. It's just all very homegrown, old school, romantic vibes. And just loving and caring. And I absolutely love it, this movie for it. Because it's a very cliche movie whenever it comes to, you know, a comment and having to survive Armageddon and all that stuff. But you, you, what makes this movie great is those emotionally impacting scenes. You really, it really stirs up emotions. It, like, there were several points where I almost wanted to cry and... I'm just going, oh, that's so sweet. And look, oh, they love each other because it seems so genuine. And I really love this movie for that. Now, one thing that, that I was I was uh, commenting on uh, uh, throughout the movie uh, to this particular person who will go unnamed. But I was just saying, you know how much you would love to be around me whenever this kind of stuff happens? Because when the crap really hits the fan... You don't want to be around no sissy man or anything like that that doesn't know what he's doing. You want to actually have a fighter, someone who knows things and will be able to protect and you'll be able to survive with. And this movie puts that on full display. Gerard is just a regular buddy, he, but he's a good, strong family man. You know, he, he knows what he's doing. He can protect. But, he, you know, it's nothing, anything special, but he, he represents that. For example... Like one of the things that I knew right away, and no, and no one else got it. Was like, why is that a bad thing? They end up uh, getting separated because their son forgets his diabetes medicine in his car. He accidentally drops it, so he has to go back. Once they've already made it onto the planes, they've already made it to the base, and in order to be able to get travel to Greenland, because Greenland is where these sanctuaries are provided by the government, and they have these things prepared so that then whenever this extinction level comet hits they'll be able to rebuild and repopulate and all that other stuff but he goes back and gets the uh he goes back to get the insulin for his uh, for his son and the mom ends up trying to help the situation no fault of her own it's a completely understandable nothing dumb about it but she ends up telling one of the military men that her son is a diabetic and they're not allowed on the planes because they need the best in the gene pool. They can't have anyone with infirmities or chronic conditions or anything like that that will mess up the sanctuary or will die, you know, on them or anything like that. Also, you know, just for the gene pool thing, they don't want to have those kind of weaknesses within, you know, the human genome for the few survivors that of this extinction level common event. So they end up not being allowed on the planes and the dad is able to find out at the last minute because he's separated from them at the time that they didn't make it on the plane. So she leaves a note for him on the car in order to be able to meet up way up north at his parents, at her parents' house. And one of the perfect examples of how smart she is. And she has her son and everything is they were separated because, you know, people start invading the military base and, you know, end up shooting. There's some shooting that goes on and, there's an oil leak, and then that leads to an explosion of a bunch of the planes and stuff like that. So there's this mass confusion. Of course, the cell phones don't work because the comets that are already landing are already interfering with all the signals and everything like that. And then you have idiots who are just, you know, kind of watching and partying and not caring and thinking that, oh, this is so cool. These dumb, libby, idiot kids and everything like that. Yeah, it exemplifies that in the movie very well. But anyways, so... 
they're both making their way up north separately and they're both having hard times like uh they have these bands and the, the people understand that these bands are basically passes to be able to get on the inside and people are trying to kill kill gerard butler for them and he nearly ends up dying and he ends up having to kill this other guy and there's this a one uh, uh there's this one family that tries to take advantage of uh, uh marina the mom and the son and uh take their bands and kind of use him uh, in order to be able to uh in order to be able to go on the inside and pretend like they're a big family and even though they're not and they end up getting caught thankfully and she's able to find uh, one of those bases and find him their her son you know who is sick and thankfully he's gotten treatment and everything like that too and they're able to meet up at the parents at her parents house later on so that all it's all very stressful it's all man if you're a parent you know how stressful that kind of situation is and man that dude was such a a jerk man i'm like so glad that he ended up it looks like he ends up getting arrested for the fraud because they catch him you know trying to impersonate these other people and they didn't really have the invites so which is like Basically, like, he's just going to be, you know, be the first one to get hit by the comet. They're going to put him out there on the fields in front in front of the very first comet they see. That's basically the implication. He definitely gets his. So, that's a really good news. At least Karma kind of swung around what, that way. And so, they meet up with the parents, and they're, of course, so thankful to finally see each other because they've been split apart for so long. And uh, the father is, you know, old school, country, conservative kind of guy. You know, has a big old truck and just what lives on his own. And they're you know they want uh, they learn of this other i'm not uh, there's so many details it's not really important but they learn of this other uh flight that's going to greenland and uh, that they want to be able to take advantage of because they know some pilots through a friend of a friend of a friend and they want the father to go but he's not going to go but he's like i've lived long enough and i don't want to leave you know my house i this is where i've established my life and it's so sweet because his, his wife died there and he refuses to leave, you know, her and the, his burial site and the, you know, just the sentimentality behind that kind of love. And he ends up talking to Gerard Butler. And it's a very good example of how in-laws might not always agree on things, but they can still get along for the common good and saying, you know, just, you know, every marriage, you know, ends up going through crap. And it's always every single one, no matter who you're with, even if it's the most perfect person for you, is going to be hard and you can't just run up and you know, walk up to, you know, and sleep with some other girl just because you're having a hard time. And he acknowledges that, says he messed up, but that he's going to spend the rest of his life trying to make it up to them and him. And he just wants to protect them, keep them safe. And you can actually see the genuineness in that and that the father actually trusts him. And it's a very endearing scene right there. And, you know, it's the old police detective from the Clary Starling, you know, Silence of the Lambs uh, movie. And he's a really good actor. I really, really like him. He's awesome. And he, and he ends up staying with this house, and he ends up perishing because of it. And uh, so they're able to find these other pilots within the nick of time because he lends them the truck, you know, that's full of gas. He's already pre had it prepared for them. Like, man, this dude's awesome. So uh, the, the plane ends up crashing. They're able to land their way on the plane by kind of blackmailing them just a little bit by also by using the empathy of other people. And it, this movie does a really good job showing the empathy of people. I mean, there are some people who are definitely, you know, robbing places and rioting and looting and take advantage of the, all these bad situations. But also, you know, the people taking advantage of the bad situation, not good people at all, but also the genuine heartedness of some people who are willing to and just willing to help these other people. And it's really nice to see a realistic side whenever it comes to the bad people, but also that there are lots of good people out there willing to help. And it has a really good unifying uplifting message whenever it comes to that that we should help people in their times of need but the plane ends up crashing but they and the pilots die but they're in they're able to finally make their way to the military military bases and they're just loving each other saying no matter what happens we're going to survive you know or not that we're going to survive that you know we're going to be right here and we're never going to leave each other we're going to be happy and they end up you know making up you know gerard butler and uh marina or whatever her name is and you know they're 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 solidified and they're solidified within their love and that's really awesome and then you know the comet lands and though basically the entire war earth has been basically like wiped out it like and we end up finding out that they've been in these underground bunkers that the government built specially for them for nine months and they finally are able to come back outside after nine months and start to repopulate and rebuild everything 
and it's just like wow they're so happy to be finally be able to be outside it's definitely been a tough nine months and it's it's a really heartfelt endearing scene right there and you know how valuable other people and their skills are and everything so that's the where the movie ends off so it's a it's a happy ending even though most of the human population is gone it's not really that happy but at least you know some people have survived and they have a new outlook of appreciation for their lives and people are starting to communicate on the radios and starting to rebuild communications and starting to rebuild the earth and it leaves off on a positive note a unifying message of how valuable life is and how it really stresses how important family is and how important you know being there for your loved ones and protecting them is and how you have to live for the other person and for other people and not live selfishly for yourself and i really love the family unifying message right there and it's it's just so well done guys like the emotions they just grip you right there it just really tugs at those heartstrings and i really really enjoyed it so if you have any specific questions about the movie let me know in the comments as well i'm more than happily answer all those so let me know what you think about this review i can't wait to see what y'all's feedback is in the comments i recommend definitely recommend going to see it whether it's virtually or you know in the theaters you know vaccines coming out so you know that's awesome news so go and see it everything is going to be absolutely fine so like like i said before a million times please smash that thumbs up like button subscribe hit the bell for notifications like the all feature so you can see all my future content like this other movie reviews star wars baki anime humor political stuff all that good stuff it's all on there if you wouldn't mind they maybe leaving me a venmo or paypal donation i'd really appreciate it one time or reoccurring uh, if I could do, get a dollar from every subscriber I had, I'd be able to do these videos full time, bringing y'all even better edited content. So I'd really appreciate that. Make sure you check out that Wonder Woman review. There should be some other tabs that are popping up right now uh, at the end of the screen as well the, of other videos that I think y'all will enjoy seeing. But thank you so much for listening to me, Rand. Thank you for listening all the way to the end of this. I can't wait to see what y'all have to say. Y'all are awesome. Peace out, my friends. Y'all have a wonderful rest of the day. Follow me on all my social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Parler. Links are in the description and first comment too. All right, enough ranting. See ya.